I found four hacks that you can use to edit your video. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I've been away for a very, very long time and I do see your comments. I do see your likes. I do see your encouragement. I do see your hateful feedbacks, but all in all, thank you. Um, I'm back and I hope I stay longer this time around. From experience while using CapCut, if you watch my YouTube shorts, I use CapCut app a lot, right? I use CapCut to edit many of my videos, my video commercials, the videos that I post on my social media pages. If you go there at um, simbi underscore props or simbi studio, you're gonna see all of those videos that I post there and I edit them using only CapCut. So I literally know CapCut like the back of my hand. So here are four hacks that you can use to edit your videos and number four, is very, very important. So stay tuned and listen on. The first one is removing logo. You know the typical CapCut logo that is always at the end of the video? Well, I'm going to show you a trick on how to remove it permanently. So in such a way that whenever you edit videos, it will no longer be showing. The second one, if you watch people's Inst uh, social media page, or most especially on Instagram, if you go towards their reels section, before you get to play their video, there's a particular photo or scene. You get to see a part of the video before you click on it. It's called a cover page or a, co or a cover. They call it a cover. So I'm going to show you how to set that in your CapCut. So you, to how to be intentional about setting the cover of your video, what people see first before they click on your video. The third one is skin retouching. Like me now, I'm currently without makeup right? I'm going to show you how to put on makeup. That is, if you do not have the time to put on makeup by yourself, you do that through editing. So you look fly and pink before you start recording your video. And lastly, how to reduce noise in your video. What do I mean by noise? Probably background noise and all of that. Even though you use mics, there's still some little noise that may be picked up through your microphone, your phone microphone. I'm going to show you how to limit that or reduce that drastically with CapCut. So let's get into it. You would open your CapCut app. CapCut is an app that works both for Android and iPhone. So I'm using an Android phone right now and I'll open my CapCut app and then we get right into it. So we open the CapCut app. This is it, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna tap on it and it opens. So this is the first interface that you see. Now, the trick to removing the logo at the end of your CapCut is from the settings you click on the settings at the top right corner but what you're going to pay attention to is the fact the one that is written add default ending you're just going to turn it off yes keep sorry discard you turn it off so your next project close it back your next project your future projects will not have that cap cut ending ever again so let's let, let me give an example let me use a video um, I'm going to click on new project. I'll add one or two videos. One or two. Add. And then towards the end, you see, there is no CapCut ending or CapCut logo at the end. So that is one. Let's move on to the second one. The second one is to fix the cover of your video. Being intentional about what people see before they click on your video to watch. It works the same for... TikTok, for Instagram, wherever it is, even if the video is in your gallery, what you see first before you click on it. So now at the beginning of the CapCut app, you see mute clip audio, right? And then there is cover. That is the part that you click on. Click on cover and it tells you, do you want to select any part of the video as cover? What do I mean by this? Like I can slide this towards the left and say, okay, when people want to want to play this video, I want them to see this first, this scene, this clip first before they click. It depends on you. Or you have a photo of yours, a very nice looking photo, and you just want to use it as cover. Or probably, you know, there are some creators that post random videos on their page. And when they post that, they feel like that post makes their page ugly. So they will use a nice fancy picture to cover up the the video so their page looks beautiful and aesthetic so that's how they do it so either you select a 
part of your video to do that, or you add a photo from your gallery as the cover of your video. So if you want, if I want this part of my video to be the cover, all I just need to do is click on save and then it saves automatically. But if I want a photo to be the cover, what I do is I click on select from album. You see it here at the top here. Can you see that? You click select from album. So it takes you into your phone gallery to look for the photo that you want to put as the cover. Let's say I want to use this image as the cover of my video, this image. I know it's not looking good, but let's just use that as an example. So I'll click on confirm and then boom, that's the cover of my video. And I will just click on save. So now when I save this video, I export it to my gallery. I post it on social media. It will be that photo that I seen before they click on my video. The third trick is skin retouching. Applying makeup to your face for your video for an already recorded video. Like for example, I do not have lipstick on, I do not have eyebrows done, I do not have my face touched, I want my teeth to be white, I want my eyes to be whiter, I can do that on CapCut. So let's start afresh. Let's start afresh. I'm gonna close this, but let me save this. I save this with the export uh, feature. I click on export. I click on export and then it saves. So as it is saving, you can literally see the cover of the video, that cover that we added. That is it. So now let's go back to CapCut. We're starting afresh to add some skin retouching. So I tap on new project and then I've already recorded a video before we started um, this lesson and it is this. So I'll just tap on it and I'll click on add. Now I I didn't really do much in the video. I'm just literally staring. So if you have a talking video or you know, you don't, you're just too stressed to apply anything on your face and you just want to say something and put it out there, you can add makeup to your face before you post it. You can do that on CapCut. So how do we start? Now that I have put this video in CapCut, right? I'm going to tap on the video right i click on the video then i slide towards the right below on the menu and you see this feature called retouch see it here below retouch so i'm going to click on it well we are not retouching our face we're, we're, we're not retouching our body we're retouching our face so i click on face and then you see that it literally zooms into my face and then we can now start now there are different menus to retouching and sub menus to retouching. There's the face option. And of course there are different um, plans. There's the pro plan and there's the free plan. I mostly use the options or the feature that is under the free options. The pro one doesn't really do much for me, but if you have, if you're on pro, you can try it out. So the, the most important thing to me is to smoothen up my skin. Definitely even up my skin tone and apply some lipstick, make my teeth white, uh, my cheekbones, slim it down and all of that. So let's try smooth. If I tap on smooth and I draw this uh, toggle down to the right, you can see that my skin is becoming super smooth, right? And I can retouch my skin tone as well. Do I want my skin to be pale, brownish and all of that? I could change it, see? I can even look lighter or darker on camera. Can you see that? So I think I like this. And you can adjust the tones with this feature down here. So next is uh, if you want to brighten your teeth, I can whiten it. But I'm not really showing my teeth in this video, so I don't think it's necessary. That is just for the first menu. That's face. We can reshape our face here using the reshape menu. The reshape menu gives us different options for slim, uh, for slim face, for the jaw, for so many things. Unfortunately, they are all under the pro plan. But for the free plan, we can use slim if you want to slim down your face, most especially your jaw, your jawline. You could do that. You can move to your eyes. If you want your eyes to be bigger, you can increase it. There's just all sorts under the skin retouching um, 
feature. But I find it really, really useful in terms of smoothing my skin and just making me look flawless on camera. Or not on camera, after recording, <laughs> before I post on my social media. Then we have another menu called makeup. Makeup is literally the full glam. Your eyebrow, your whatever, whatever. You could just pick anyone. It's more like a filter. You see my face and you can reduce it if it's too obvious. You could just reduce it down. And then there's the manual feature. The manual feature is you want to literally add these features manually by yourself. So that's just that about that. Now, imagine you have other clips in your, in CapCut. It, maybe probably I have like two other clips all arranged after each other. So all I need to do after editing one clip, I just click on apply to all. And then I click on confirm. That's it. And I check mark below. So you can see I look very, very different. Very, very different. Let me show you the before, how I look like before, the makeup on CapCut and after. Let me add the before. This is the before. Let me add it. Good. So I'll play it for you to see. This is me literally before the makeup. And then, then you are about to see me after applying the makeup. So it's it's a good feature. This is it. Beautiful. I look like those models. <laughs> All I did was to smoothen my skin and to apply makeup. And that's it. So the last feature, it's about reducing noise. How do we reduce noise in our video? Now, I always advise that when you're recording videos with your phone, Try to use a wireless microphone. A wireless phone microphone is it's it's very popular in the market. I sell it to my customers. You can find it anywhere you go on any gadget store. Just ask for a wireless microphone. Now this is mine. I always I always use it to record. I always use it to record because it helps me reduce noise to a certain level. Although it still catches some really loud noise, when I put in my video on CapCut, I then now add a feature to also reduce that loud noise the microphone catches. So let me show you how to do that. It's just with, a, with just one click, you're done. Um, when, let's start afresh. There's a video I recorded and bark, dogs were barking. But I used the microphone and it still catch the dogs barking, but a little. Let's start afresh with a new project. So I click on new project and where's the video? Okay, this is the video. This is the video. So I'm gonna click on add. So I would like for you to listen to it. Just hoping it's not too long. So let's play it. Hi, good morning. So I'm going to talk to you about my, you know. This is me, me without the mic, the okay, wireless so microphone. Now. So let me plug in my mic. That is the wireless so microphone. The dogs barking. Oh, God. So just... You notice that I'm more audible, but it can still catch the dogs barking. So am I audible now? I guess this is better, right? So, I went to a lady's shop yesterday. No, it was two days ago. And I wanted to you get... You can still hear items, the dogs barking, you know, but I'm still audible. So how do we fight that world. noise? How do we fight that noise? We would use two features on a cap cut. The first one is reduce noise. It works... It works alone, and sometimes it cannot work alone. Oh, people that edit videos would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there are certain noise that are just crazy. You would have to intensely reduce it with some special features and all of that. Thankfully, CapCut provided those for us. However, one is free to use. And the second feature is not free to use. It's a pro feature. But I'm still going to use both. So you cannot tell me or you could see the difference yourself and see if it's worth it to pay CapCut 
for the pro feature. We have our video. It's one minute, 47 seconds long. You can see the time at the top here. So the first thing you could do to reduce your noise after using the wireless microphone is to click on the video in the timeline, slide towards the left and look for reduce noise. You will see reduce noise here. That is it, reduce noise. So you just click and tap. Hi, good morning. So I'm going to talk to you about my, you know, an event that happened to me about two days ago. But first, I'm sure... Let me move to after the mic to see if there's any difference. There's still noise. The second thing we can do is to isolate my voice from any other noise in the video. Well, that is a pro feature. To isolate my voice, you still have to click on the video and then slide towards the left and you can see the isolate voice feature there. You tap on it and then you have two options to keep voice or to remove voice. It's always keep voice. You can see the pro the pro sign at the top is a pro feature. And I believe that CapCut is like $6 monthly. Yes. So I, I do subscribe to the CapCut Pro because it's just fantastic. It makes life easy. But I know that there are some people that cannot afford that. Uh, but I want your eyes to open to see that the pro is actually good for you. So click on keep voice and then you wait till it um, does its work up to a hundred percent this may take some time depending on the length of your video so you wait up now it has been applied it is up to a hundred percent and you will not believe your ears so let me play it for you the isolate feature took out the dog's barking and you can literally hear just me no dogs barking so that is how to improve the your audio if you're in a noisy place to reduce the noise, there are two features. The free one, which is to reduce noise, and the pro one, which is very, very, very useful to isolate voice. So I hope you've learned one or two today and catch me in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments. Tell me what you, what you want to learn, what you want to learn in CapCut, and I'll definitely make our time to create such tutorial. Love you.